If so, I, that's the only bad thing about the whole thing. We're never going to probably find out in our lifetime. I don't know about that, them. man. I don't know about man, that. Man, if you look back, if you want to see how much we've advanced, just go back like we were talking about earlier and check out the medical ideas that go. people had, the scientific ideas people had. Here it is right here. First observational test of the multiverse. The theory that our universe is contained inside a bubble, and that bubble that multiple alternate universes exist inside their own bubbles making up the multiverse is for the first time being tested by physicists. Two research papers published in Physical Review Letters and Physical Review D are the first to detail how to search for signatures of other universes. Physicists are now searching for disk-like patterns in the cosmic microwave background relic heat radiation left over from the Big Bang, which could provide telltale evidence of collisions between other universes and our own. Whoa. Collisions. Evidence of collisions of universes. What the fuck, dude? Collisions. And that's the uh, alternative concept to the Big Bang as well. The idea that our universe, whether it's in a bubble like the multiverse or the people that propose membranes, they propose yeah. like that the brains collide at certain points and that creates like a recycling of the, of the world. We just can't wrap our head around something that's that far or that long, that much longer a, a, a period of existence than our own life. The idea of this cycle that's billions and billions of years. We are so important in our own lives that the idea that that's how small a part we play for real, I'm going to exist for 80 years inside some weird biological body in some crazy process that happens every 16, 17 billion years, these things collide with each other, and everything starts completely from new. No planets, man. No nothing. Just particles and gas and heat and Super nuclear heated. explosions and fucking mass connects all these different objects together and they slowly form planets and then life grows on them and then life becomes complex life, becomes intelligent, self-aware yeah. life, creates technology, goes to war, blows up the fucking universe, and then they collide again and more collide all around. And it's a constant cycle of... You, you society, life, everything, the universe, complexity gets to a certain peak, and then just they just hit each other. Boom. Maybe it's not that much time in between each collision. Maybe it's not. Maybe a genius thought or a really great idea. When people have like super great ideas, maybe that's a collision. A collision that's happened. Maybe like maybe uh, maybe maybe it happens on the micro scale and not just on the macro scale. It's like. Perhaps there's like super tiny universes that bubble again in, again stars and like manifest in the form of somebody who came up with the theory of relativity or some kind of uh, culture shaping idea like communism or something like that. Maybe that every great idea is just a projection of the multiverse coming through people and manifesting here is massive global change. And maybe we're getting hit by more of them now, like a meteor swarm of these multi these other universes bumping into ours fucking mckenna wrote this awesome weird story did you ever read this thing he talked about how right around with when christianity started the universe ripped into a multiverse and there's another advanced dimension right next to ours that's concerned over the fact that we have nuclear weapons but like normally we could be ignored but the fact we have nuclear weapons kind of like um, makes things in multiverses next to us that are aware of us worried. But he wrote it not like it was real. He wrote it in this strange way. Like, I couldn't tell if he was trying to write a metaphor or something. I wish someone would find it. It was just fucking cool. But this Tesla thing you're talking about, it's so funny because you have to think, okay, well, I guess my brain just completely manufactured this alternate reality where super intelligent people had invented all these things. That's like one version of it, or the other version, which a lot of, I think, shamans talk about, is the idea of the spirit world, where at that moment, your astral body went to some alternate dimension and saw one possibility of the way our universe could have turned out, and then came back here, and now you're broadcasting that to as many people as listening listen to the show. You're a leak of some weird 
some weird coordinate of the multiverse is coming through you now as you talk about this thing that's like it's a dream. Maybe there's some fucking part of the multiverse where Werewolf 69 Gorillas. <laughs> we I gotta stay hope. the fuck away from there. It just, to me, it was almost like a little message that everything is preposterous. Do you take, do you ever stop and wonder how much of your life, how much of the, the things that you go through are real and how much of it may be some sort of a background noise going on in this weird play that you're creating for yourself that your imagination has put forth. And then someday you're going to understand it all. But right now, it's all the people that are in front of you or the bit players and you're supposed to be trying to figure this fucking thing out as you move along. All that stuff that's going on in the background, car accidents and war. There and, seems like there's too real. many pieces going together too. Like yeah. too much, too too many times. I'm like, that's just weird that that just happened like that. You know, like it just seems like it's just like manifesting things yeah, in your own it, mind. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. not. It's not fault. It's not foolproof. You know, it's not like you can prove it. Right. But there's something going on. Yeah, I think it is. I, th- I think. There, there, there's something to the idea that we're like when you know someone is going to call you and then you pick up the phone yeah. and it's them. That's just weird. There's something to that. I don't know what it is. I'm not, but I don't buy that it's just coincidence. It may be coincidence sometimes, but I've had sharp moments where I thought of somebody and I looked at the phone and it started ringing and it yeah. was them. Like sharp moments. Like I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. You could say that it's just luck and anticipation meeting each other, you know, that I was hoping that person called me, but not yeah. even, man. Sometimes you don't even think about that person for a long time, then all of a sudden you think about them like, wow, I haven't talked to him in fucking 10 years. And then he leaves you an email. Yeah. And you're like, what is that? What is th- what? It just happened to me, dude. I just, on, on the last. 